Hello and welcome everybody, my name is Lunami and today we're going to dive right into an Imani Spotlight and Guide. Imagine you're walking, minding your own business and then boom, headshot. Well that's what it's going to feel like when you're on the other side of Imani's scope. Now moving right along to the lore, Imani's fame and prestige is well known amongst her friends and enemies. In her years of service from the time she was a mercenary to the time she worked as a captain. As her company grew in reputation, so did her fame. Imani is a long range DPS with some short range capability. She has very little defense and hardly any utility, but she makes up for it in damage. Imani is a hero within Gigantic that deals the most damage per shot, so you wouldn't want to be on the receiving end. If you've got a good aim and fast reflexes, this is the hero for you. So let's dive right into Imani's skills, beginning off with Auto Bolts. This skill fires 3 shots in rapid succession for medium damage. It's a good skill for defending yourself when targets come close. Silent Scope is Imani's bread and butter skill. You'll be using this skill 90% of the time to pick targets off and clean up the battlefield. Scope shots also grant 100% crit chance. Now moving on to Imani's focus skill, Kill Shot. Imani zooms in and loads 3 fully charged rounds down the field, taking out any target she hits for an extra 30, 40 and 50% damage depending on how many focus charges she has. Special Ammo loads 3 high explosive rounds that add 20% more damage to your shots and applies a burning. This is a very good skill for keeping enemies at bay and to keep them on low health so they cannot advance. Smoke Bomb is Imani's only utility skill and her get out of jail free card. It creates a cloud of smoke that makes ally targets invisible and yourself. And finally moving on to talents, stay on target. This grants the user to have zero recoil and in clash if you land 10 consecutive shots you gain 2 times the focus. Secret stash lowers the cooldown of special ammo by 2 seconds. In clash lowers the cooldown of special ammo by 4 seconds. Fog of War, stealth duration of smoke bomb has been increased by 2 seconds. In clash you gain 50% more damage resistance from the smoke bomb. This skill is good for hiding you for longer and you take less damage from hard hitting enemies. Now moving on to the guide section for Imani, this guide focuses on high mobility and rapid burst damage. At level 1 I take snapshot, this gives you 50% extra damage for quick shots and you cannot zoom in as far. This is the bread and butter of Imani's quip for fast shooting and rotations on Imani, you go in, go out and provide the extra DPS that you need. At level 2 I take acrobatics, while in the air you are launched much more higher up. You must jump first before you throw your smoke bomb. This skill is good for getting away and rotating and duking them pesky assassins. At level 3 I take dying fire, burning from boom bolts now lasts 2 seconds longer. This is good for adding a lot more pressure onto the enemy team as burning will help finish off them low health targets and track assassins. At level 4 I take Combat Sniper, it is the main skill in your kit, if not the most important skill as it gives you the 20% faster reload and you can move a bit more faster while scoped. This upgrade lets you freely move and fire extreme rates with devastating damage. At level 5 I take Blast Radius, Boom Bolts now emit splash damage to enemies and you gain extra focus for each enemy set on fire. This is a solid skill for pushing back grouped up enemies and to make yourself more dominant in the game. The talent I take is Secret Stash, Boom Bolts now recharges 2 seconds faster, good for keeping up pressure on the enemy team, and even better in Clash as Boom Bolts now recharges 4 seconds faster. At level 6 I take Battle Fury, an extra 10% more focus from damage, this skill is good for building up your focus so you can rain more lead down the range. At level 7 I take Concentration, this gives you 20 more focus regeneration, so you can use your focus more often on the unexpected enemy team. At level 8 I take Adrenaline Rush, your smoke bomb now sends you further and you gain a speed boost of 50% for 3 seconds. This is good for getting away at such a short notice and good for getting away from those pesky assassins. At level 9 I take Hit and Run, each hit gives you an extra 10% boost for 3 seconds when using auto boats. It's good for moving about and relocating in fights. At level 10 I take In the Groove, each hit now gives 30% more speed boost for 3 seconds. This is good for getting around and relocating at such a fast pace. Both Hit and Run and In the Groove are good but are not fully needed in Combat Sniper as you can move about and reset up faster but when they play a most important role is when they're in Clash when the map is a lot smaller as people can get to you a lot faster so you need to rotate a lot faster to get away from assassins and close range targets. I hope this spotlight and guide has given you better insight into Amali and the way Combat Sniper is played. If you have any questions drop them below and if you wish to see more content like this feel free to subscribe and like. And see you all on the flip side.